Right, I don't know if you guys can quite see, but behind me, um, the state of the field. I was going to do some live recording, but I'm literally walking like this. Uh, and I didn't really want to, yeah, make everyone feel seasick, to be honest. Um, the tractor is going on 24-7. It is pulling the sellers around the site. It is that bad. Um, I've had a few bits, which you guys will see in the hall. Um, I'm not going to stay here as long as I wanted to because I've got to go and take my little cousin to Luton Airport. Um, but I've picked up a few bits, nothing major. Picked up another Tracy Island. That was a uh, that was a fiver. That was a good deal. I'm amazed that this guy's actually going forward. You'll see as uh, as he goes behind me. Look at how bad that is. People are just sliding everywhere. So it's good fun. I am chogged up, I was ready to record, but it's just not worth it. Um, so I'm, I'm walking all over the place, and I'll be honest, I'm tired. Um, and I haven't got the time to get the footage that I want. I want the first live car boot of the year to actually be a good one. So I'll sign out and I'll see you guys in the hall. Right, so I'm doing the haul in the office. Um, two reasons. One of the things I've got, as I said in the previous uh, segment of the video, it's a Tracy Island, it's bloody big. Uh, so in order to show you guys the, the box condition, etc., um, I need a little bit more room. Uh, secondly, I had to go back to my house to change vehicles, so then take my cousin to the airport. So uh, I didn't really have enough time to do it uh, in the in the vehicle like I would have preferred to have done. So I'm now in the office, I've now got to make notes of everything. It's just an absolute pain. So I suppose starting off, um, we'll go with the Monopolies because these are going straight into my collection shelf which is I've only got half a shelf left so that's not good but we've got a roll dial there's a tear on the back pay £12 I'm, I'm very happy with that we also have the London Underground edition again £12. Oh, I was trying not to spend any money on me today as well and um, it's not gone quite to plan. What else did we get? Uh, we picked up these games, these were 50 pence each, sorry pound each. Um, the GTA has the wrong game in it, straight through just in for free. It has Conflict Desert Storm 2, the platinum version in, so gave me that for free. Manhunt, uh, it's not a particularly rare game, however this tends to sell abroad quite well um, because it's it was banned in a lot of countries, so the research should be quite good on that and GTA San Andreas um, where the map looks like it's never even been out, so that's cool. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, Tracy Island, let me go with that because that's a big old boy. It's a 2004 Tracy Island. I'm not going to get it out. Um, there's two Thunderbirds 2s, but they're both missing a thruster. Um, but it's just a Phillips screwdriver, so I'm hoping that I can take out one of the thrusters from one of them and put it into the other to make a complete one. Um, but it's got all the other Thunderbirds. Uh, it looks to be in quite good condition. It's my third Thunderbirds Tracy Island, so another one for the collection. So for a fiver, uh, it was well worth it. And thanks to Jason for pointing this out for me. Uh, I'll be honest, I've missed the, the car boot. Uh, now let's do, all, let's do all the items first, let's do all the items, then we'll go back. So I picked up four of these, uh, it is Heads, Head Extreme Destruction Zone. Um, it's just a PC game. It's not worth a great amount. It was a quid. Uh, it's just something to, to lock up in the loft until it's worth a few quid, I suppose. So, um, yeah, cool. And there was also a rugby 1995, I think. Yep. Still factory sealed. So, um, not worth a great deal now. By the time I get to a time and age, it could be worth a few quid. Uh, we picked up a Sony T 
TCM 939, I paid, although it says a fiver on it, I paid four, it might have been three, I think it was four. Uh, it looks to all be in working order, it looks okay. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be a resale job. But that looks quite, quite good, it looks okay. I'll just reset the tape counter as well. But that's fine. Uh, it's got a little bit of surface dust on it, a few surface scratches, but to be honest, I've not even researched into it. It was like, oh, Sony, um, and just picked it up. Just because it was there. Picked up a PS1 uh, that came with a few games, uh, paid £22 for it. The games are Total Driving, Formula 198, Street Racer, and Gex 32, 3D, uh, enter the gecko. So it's a bit beaten up. Um, I think in normal circumstances, if it was a bit better, I might be able to get all those stickers off. Um, it's a, really, it's an eight pound game, maybe a little bit more. So, it's basically a game that I don't have. In fact, I don't think I've got any of them apart from maybe Formula One 98, but that, that's all gonna be changing around soon. In fact, there's gonna be a few changes. Uh, Again, we'll do that afterwards, we'll do that afterwards. Got a few blank bits as well. So we've got an empty um, Philosopher's Stone, which I feel like we've got one of the old games. It's in here somewhere, but it's empty. It's got all the inserts, it's got all the manuals. So all I've got to do is pick up the game and I've got a complete box game. Uh, he bundled the following bits for a fiver. Uh, so we've also got uh, Game Boy Color, the 170 in one. Again, it's just a box. Uh, gold and silver, the two in one. So again, it's another knockoff. Uh, but it's the sort of thing, it wouldn't surprise me if I do find it at a car boot. So that's part of it. The Incredibles, again, just inserts. Not the actual game itself. As well as the PS2 network network access disc. Now I've done no research into this whatsoever, so um, hopefully I'll just put in Dick. Probably shouldn't have done that. It's about a fiver, which isn't too bad. Uh, but that wasn't it. We also got. Some Game Boy inserts, N64 insert, uh, Pokemon Power, loads of inserts, Donkey Kong Ga 2, Crystal, the 2 in 1 Gold and Silver, Banjo Tui, the Complete Guide. That might be worth a few quid actually. This book was given away free with the 2001 edition of the N64 magazine. That's cool. N64 book it for two up three, and an N64 uh, leaflet for the console. So that wasn't bad. Uh, and I also picked up a Venom mug. And uh, you guys can see I've got Carnage down there. So now I've got Venom to go with him, which is cool. So I've got some make room for him. And right now, the, the waffling stage. In hindsight, I probably could have recorded at the car boot. Um, there was a couple of reasons why I didn't. Uh, the ground was very uneven. It was wet. Oh, it's a good cup of tea. Um, it was very wet. Um, it was very uneven. And I had to rush around to, to get my cousin to uh, to the airport with with me waiting to do the first live car boot of the year um i do feel a little bit of pressure to actually get it right and to get hit the nail on the head the first time so i want the first live car boot that we film um to be a bloody good one to be honest i want it to be active i want it to be vibrant i want it to be sunny um for me personally 
that's what gets the most views as well. It's just any live car boot. So to be honest, if I wanted to get the views, I could have just knocked it out today and not a problem. Um, but now for my own pride, I want it to be a video with good content. Um, so I, I need to wait until the weather's slightly better. Um, it could be tomorrow. Uh, we are due sun for the rest of the day, which means that we could potentially have two car boots tomorrow. So that gives us two opportunities to get a, a live car boot uh, going. So it's just my own personal thing now where people are asking for it. I tend to get a comment at least every week asking when are the lives coming back? When are the lives coming back? When are the lives coming back? Um, they are coming. I just I want it to be right, um, which I know is selfish of me uh, because it's something that you guys want. But... I, I want it to. I want me to be happy with what I'm putting out, um, but yeah, it's just just me. I'm afraid. So that's it. That is Saturday done. Um, so I've now got to go through and make notes of what I paid for everything and, and well for stuff that I'm reselling anyway. Um, on other news, I, I'm renting out an office space um, in my local town, uh, which has 24-hour security. Um, it's it's fully lit. It's it's basically beautiful. <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is currently I'm housing all of my eBay stuff at home, um, but I'm now going to move it all out to to there. So it means I might well move all of the GameCube stuff out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's as simple as that. I I need to rejig the room that I've got. Uh, I've, I've got a whole stack of Xbox games just there, which it's like 30 high. So to get to the, the bottom ones, to get to anything to begin with, A, is absolutely impossible. So I've got a pair of racking in. Um, I'm hoping to put a desk in there as well, possibly have a laptop in there. I don't know yet. We'll see what it's like, see what the internet is like. Uh, but that's potentially going to be my eBay hub. Um, so that could be quite good. Um, so when we get to a stage where I can start withdrawing money from the, the eBay side of things, we're going to be laughing. Um, but at the moment, it's just invest, 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 invest. Uh, literally every, every spare minute of my time feels like it is going towards that. But I've, the house is just full. So if it gets my fiance happy, it's worth it. Um, so yeah, there there's, there could be a few changes. So we'll see what happens. Personally, I think I might get a few more shelves and try and, and rack out the PS1s. I want to have all my PS1 games in here because it makes life a lot easier. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So there's potentially going to be a lot of changes happening over the next few weeks in regards to what's going on behind me. But I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. Um, but thank you for sticking with me, Waffling. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. And I apologise if you do hear me singing over the outro music. Because it's what kept me going this morning. I had Kistry on full blast. This song was going. So, yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>